So it says use synthetic division to solve for that thing. So uh, which is x to the power of 4 minus 1 divided by x to the minus 1. So what are we doing to solve uh, solve this? So it says, it says use synthetic division. So in, when we talk about synthetic division, uh, we can use kind of two approaches to synthetic division. Uh, we can either use um, synthetic or we can use long division. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Both of them will get you the same answer. So take a moment to think about this question. So yeah, take a moment to think about this problem. Uh, and we're, we're going to uh, kind of take it up as we go here. So in, th in this case, this is synthetic division. So again, uh, this is relating to, we're talking about um, uh, simplifying simplifying our rational expressions here. We can talk about, um, we could talk about uh, finding uh, fi uh, finding maybe we could get something like a cubic function here. Um, we're basically just simplifying our polynomial here in this case. So it says use synthetic division to solve for this problem here. So we're given this, so we have to use a synthetic division. So what, how I would do it is I would do like a little like um, inverse kind of division here. And then in this here, I would put whatever the coefficients of this here is, right? So the divisor would be simply just one because I have one X and then the, the, the dividend or the, um, the thing that's inside the bracket would be, I would have one for the X to the power of four and then I have to go down by degree. So for the X to the power of three, I have obviously a zero X to the power of, to power of two is a zero as well. X to the power of one is also zero and you have a negative one, right? So this here is my start of my synthetic division, right? So these are all placeholders, right? Because if I, this here represents my X, this here, X to the power of four, three, two, one, and this is uh, your constant value here. So, uh, so I set it up. This is good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first number inside. It represents the leading coefficient. We're gonna carry it down, right? So. In this case, uh, let me just extend. Here. Let me just extend this guy. This is a one. Let's extend this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the one down. One like that, and then after I bring it down, I'm gonna multiply it by the uh, the the divisor here. So one times one obviously equals one, right? So this here would equal a one here. And my answer will go into this space, so the next space here. So we do the exact same thing, and we're going to, uh, so after that, after we multiply the divisor by whatever this number bring it brought down was, we're going to take, um, we're going to take, we're going to add this next column here. So zero plus one here is obviously one, which means I'm going to get a value of um, one here. So I'm bringing this zero down, zero plus one here is one. So that's great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. So one times one here is again, it's a one, so I have another one here. Bring the zero down, zero plus one here is one again. And then I'm going to have to, uh, so uh, I get another one here. Zero plus one is one. One times one here is one. I bring this down, negative one plus one here is a zero, right? So I get a zero here in this case. So what am I left with? So I'm left with all the leading coefficients of my of, of the answer, right? So this here would be a, so this here I, uh, would be, I have, uh, this here is a zero, this here is x, x squared, x cubed, and x to the power of four, right? Um, so in this case, I would get something like this. I would get x to the power of three, x to the power of two, and an and x value here. So let's check what they did here. So they did kind of the same thing in terms of a synthetic division method. Um, they wrote all their values like this, uh, like in, in terms of a square bracket, which is totally fine. I did it in terms of this like, inverse division. It's super fine as well. They got one, 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 zero, which is exa exactly what I got. So, which means therefore the quotient would be x squared, x squared, x sorry, x cubed, x squared, x and x plus one here, right? Because the entire thing here now shifts, right? Because this here is now um, so instead of the x to the power of four being here, this is now x to the power of three, right? Because I divided one x by uh, x to the power of four. So this here, this new solution here. Is our leading coefficient of our answers, right? So answers here, this is x to the power of three, x to the power of two, x, and our, whatever our constant is. So therefore, our answer to this problem would be, uh, so x to the power of four minus one divided by x minus one, right?
Let me just double check that. Yep. So this would equal, I would have x to the power of 3, or I would have 1 times x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of x, x plus 2 plus 1 to the power of x plus uh, 1, right? Therefore, it's simply x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. And that's going to be my answer for this problem here. So it's exactly the same as what they got. Uh, they did their long division in a different format as I did, but we still got, the important thing was we got the latent coefficients correct, right? This here is our correct answer. Um, and that's what they got in the bottom row here. So uh, this here solution is a great solution. So perfect solution and step-by-step -step analysis here. So you could use uh, something called synthetic division. You could use something called a long division. And let me just show you that real quick before we move on. I'll just do like the first couple steps uh, and then you can kind of get the idea. So I would put X minus one over here and I would divide it by X to the power of four plus X zero X cubed plus zero X squared plus zero or no plus X minus one. And what I would do is I would do is I would you have to go kind of back to grade six or something like that when we learn about long division. So we take the first two terms here, x minus one and x to the power of four. Uh, what do I need to multiply to x to the four? I need x cubed, right? And then what you can do is uh, x cubed uh, times negative one here is negative x cubed. And this here is obviously x to the four. And then you're going to subtract both of these sides. So I have a zero here. And this here would be... Uh, plus one, right? Uh, zero plus minus minus x would be one x cubed. And then which means, uh, and you do the exact same thing, right? So you have to, uh, what, so what value of this times x minus one will give me x cubed? Again, x squared would be my next value here. And then I would, I would, I would go so on and so forth. And you realize you get the exact same thing as uh, you if you were to do synthetic division. So another way of approaching this, again, it's up to you in terms of how you approach this question. Uh, synthetic or long division in this case they asked for synthetic division so we have to use uh synthetic division in terms of this way here but long division does tend to be a bit harder just because it's a longer step whereas synthetic division is a bit more uh accessible it's a bit easier because we're just bringing down and multiplying right whereas this one is a bit harder to visualize so we say solution is correct